Hey ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? Whether you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, or by some other means in the future, I appreciate you being here. Today, I am excited to bring you another episode of Summer's Gone. I am in love with this game so far. Let's go ahead and get right back into the game. So, if you haven't watched any of this, I highly encourage you to watch or play the game. But right now, John and Bella are about to go on their first official, unofficial date. Because I guess it didn't really start out as a date. They're more like um, doing some investigatory, like detective work right now. But we're going to call it a date. Let's see how this works out. Hey, you both stand there for a few seconds in awkward silence. I got you this. It's um, a little fucked up. How, how did you know that? Know what? That I like yellow flowers. You do? Uh, I didn't know that. I just picked one up. Thank you. We should go in. Yeah. All right, here we are. I just think John and Bella, they look like such a great couple together. I mean, look at them. Come on. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Van Halen. Your table is almost ready. Would you like to take a seat in the lounge meanwhile? Sure. Right, here we are, hanging out. Look at them. Perfect couple, right? This is not really my type of restaurant. You prefer a 24-7 street diner? Nah, actually, yeah. Me too. People here have sticks up their asses. The food portions are way too small. Mm. So, he is here? Yeah, he is. So what's our plan? What, you don't have one? Nope. That was your job. Well, it's not easy to come up with something when you don't know the environment. Let's just do a reconnaissance mission today. That was the initial plan anyways, to study his schedule and the people around him. Okay. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Just a little bit more awkward silence here, I feel like. You both awkwardly turn away. They, they had that little meeting of the eyes. Because, you know, they like each other. And then all of a sudden they realize, oh my god, no. I can't be seen liking you. Oh, I'm feeling like a, a little game of footsie is uh, an order. Yep. Nope, 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 just, nope. Touch your foot back. Let's do it. Let's do a little flirt. There you go. Let's see how that works out. There you go. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> this is kind of corny and childish, but it's also cute. <laughs> Dude, stop making everything weird. You touched me first. It was an accident. Oh, and the other two times were also an accident? I yes. Bella pushes you away from her. You push her towards the corner of the couch. Your table is ready, Miss Von Halen. Thanks. Is this the guy we're looking for? I don't know who this lady is. Do the lady and gentlemen know what drink they want to order? Hmm, do we? I don't know. We would like today's special, non-alcoholic. Of course. They look pretentious. They are. Oh, here we go. Um, I'm not exactly sure 
who we're scouting out here. It's probably the, the bald dude. I'm assuming. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Is the blonde one his wife? No. Okay, who's that? Who's that there? Here are your drinks. Thanks. Bella stares at you with a weird expression. Hmm. You're ruining everything. What? what? Why are you making this so complicated? We're here to fuck this guy over. Stop looking at me like that. I'm not even looking at you, you disgusting thing. You are disgusting. No wonder you're still a virgin. Who on earth would even consider having sex with you? Nobody is that desperate. You brush your comments off and your eyes wander through the restaurant. Oh, oh. No, oh, if it isn't the beautiful Bella. Hmm. Her mouth just twitched. She must really hate him. Mr. Holgerson, for you it's Stefan. And who is your date? I'm John. John, your family name is, um... Uh, does it matter? Cyrus. He slightly shakes his head. I don't know any Cyrus. It's a big city. It certainly is. Well, I don't see you here very often. I prefer people who don't have sticks up their asses. <laughs> as honest as ever. I hope you'll enrich us with your presence at our gala next week, Saturday to be precise. I'll think about it. Oh no. Very well, I wish you two a great evening. You too, Stefan. Oh, yeah, she's disgusted. Belle starts breathing faster. Calm down. He touched my hand. If you lose your cool after a simple touch, we can scrap this whole operation. Why? Have you forgotten our plan already? What do you think will happen when we have to spend a few hours with them when we make the copy of the keys? Fuck. If he ends up touching me somewhere I don't want, I won't stay cool. I would never expect that from you, okay? What gala was he talking about, by the way? They host multiple galas throughout the year. Should we go to one? We... Yeah, to acquire information. Fine, but I can't get you in there. These gals are invite only. If I wasn't invited, even my mom couldn't have gotten me in. It would be the first one I attend, actually. I always came up with excuses not to go. Okay, so tell me how the other people at these tables are. That's Brenda Vassavel, the one with the glasses. She's a professor at one of our rival colleges. The blonde one is Genevieve Cote. I've heard that she had been in her family after giving birth to a dwarf. Dwarf is in the little people? I guess. I don't know who the other guy is at the table. Oh, okay, so we're the bald guy, we have no clue. All right. Makes sense to me. Do you wish to order? Let's see, do we? Yes, I like the 15. No, uh, 96 for me, please. Of course. Nadia invited me and Nami to the board game meetup. Oh god, really? She's such a nerd. I've never thought she was a nerd. As if you know anything about her. Was Nancy there too? Uh, yeah. She is n nice. Does Nami know? Know what? That thing. What thing? Stop fucking playing dumb. I won't say it. You sometimes remind me of a third grader. Because of my flawless, youthful, and juicy skin? Um, I was waiting for him to say, I was waiting for him to have a comeback with that. I guess not. Who's this? Okay. All right. I think John's staring. Is Bella going to be jealous? Oh god, I didn't know anyone could stare this disgustingly at someone. You ignore her words. I wonder why. What's got his attention? And he just keeps staring. Such a virgin. 
She's out of your league. Don't even bother. Shit. <laughs> oh, unknown person here. Wait. Hold on. She knows who we are. John? You're you're John Cyrus, right? Elsa? It's been so long. I I thought I'd never see you again after Oh, you you don't need to mention it. She nods. Who is this girl? Our table is ready. Have a nice evening, you two. Thanks. Now I'm confused. Who is Elsa? What is it? That's not your fucking business. Whatever. I'll find out. Why are you so obsessed with me? I, I'm not obsessed with you. You act like you couldn't care less about me, but the second you get some information to gain, you get two little lactation stains in your dress. <laughs> That's so fucking funny, dude. That lactation stains? What now? We're here to gather information. <laughs> lactation stains. It's still hilarious. I got it from Emilio. We insert it into the phone, and it slurps out all the data. So, we need to get his phone? I don't think we'll have a chance to get it. Her phone, though. Okay. I know how to get under her skin. Does she even matter? How would I know? It's a start, at least. And we'll get his phone number without him knowing. Okay. Well, that makes no sense. Amber should have his number. You could get it from her. But still, how do we get her phone? Uh, and okay the bathroom <laughs> she's been drinking a lot she'll need to hit the ladies room soon and that's when we intercept her we'll have to somehow predict when she's going to the ladies room right I'll keep an eye on her body language then when she's inside the restroom I'll find a way to distract her I'll position her with her back towards another stall. Then, you'll slide under it, grab her phone, insert the USB-C, and extract the data. Alright, I'll have to go into the- I'll have to go into the ladies' room? Yes. There's no way she won't notice me grabbing her phone from the purse. She'll be distracted, trust me. You barely exchange another word until the food arrives. These purses are- small that's what I that's why I hate places like this look at this and it cost a fortune being poor must suck <laughs> we're not poor I saw your house it's a normal house what the fuck is your problem and the normal person is a poor person I don't get your sorry ass you always shit on these rich people, but you behave exactly like them. I do not. Yes, you do. I was joking for fuck's sake. I wonder if that... She's like having second thoughts about how she's treating people. Maybe. Or maybe not. Who knows? She's moving her legs a lot more frequently now. I think it's almost time. I'll go ahead. Wait 15 seconds, then follow her. Alright, she's heading to the bathroom right now. Elsa. Hmm. What are, I, I, mean, I have no clue who Elsa is. Oh. Another person from his childhood. Alright. I just want one. Why just one, Ellie? You know my mommy. She'll get mad when I eat more than two scoops. Here. I buy one more for you. No, she'll find out during the weekly weighing. A weekly weighing? Oh my god, what? She'll not find out, Ellie. Two scoops won't even show. No, I don't want to be punished again. Alright, let's go then. So it's just another childhood friend, I guess. 
Moogle, come. Who's Moogle? The cat? And then the cat's like, fuck you. <laughs> That's a pretty obedient cat if you could just say, come on, kitty cat, let's go. My mama says you're a bad influence, John. <laughs> oh, that's summer chuckling. <laughs> Summer's the bad one. No, I'm the cool one. Mama said that you're blind in love. And that you'll end up in a trailer park and drink lots of beer. <laughs> okay. Good to know that my aunt speaks about me behind my back. Oh, well, oh. Okay, <laughs> the Summer's aunt. So, I, I, they're cousins, Summer and Elsa. Okay, that's pretty fucked up, right? They, they, your aunt would talk about you like that? Lick. <laughs> Lick the damn ice cream. There you go. Aw, oh, poor Summer. You snap back to the present. It's time. Here we go. Bella? Come in. Where is she? In there. What now? Get in there. Slide under. Get in there. Slide under. Grab her purse and connect the thing. But wait till it happens. Until what happens? Um, okay. Alright, hold on. Go. Oh, oh, she's coming out or what? Okay. What's, what's about to happen here? Bella. Brenda. Okay, a little bit of awkward tension here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, that reminds me. Is Thomas still fucking that 20-year-old model? Or is that over? What did you say? I asked if he still prefers her tight pussy. Oh my god. How dare you say that to me? She screams while her entire body is shaking like a leaf. You d dumb bitch. You have no, no idea what happened. Judging by his happy nature, which suddenly emerged after the incident, I... Oh my god, man. Oh man. Bella is cold. <laughs> Alright. Brenda is screaming hysterically. Okay, I'm assuming this guy she's talking about is Brenda's husband. <laughs> alright, alright. Oh man, the phone beeps. Slurped. <laughs> what did he do? He just slide the person? Oh, okay. And, and you... You're the last one who... Okay, Bella's like, okay, alright. I wonder what Bella... Eventually we'll figure out Bella's past. Are you done? You, you are a terrible person. Oh, man. Oh, man. Poor, poor lady. I feel bad for Brenda. But I, you know what? She said I'm sorry, like she whispered it. So I know Bella didn't want to really hurt her like that. That's that's fucked up. <laughs> that's pretty fucked up. Yeah, yeah. She she can't believe she even just did that. Bella's good. She's a good person somewhere in there. Did it work? Yeah. We should finish up and leave. I said I want the whole flask. Yes, ma'am. Eat up and we'll leave. There's not much of it, but at least it tastes good. All right. All right. Dinner's over. Now what are we going to do?
Yeah, I think Bella like really regrets saying some some terrible shit to that lady. I'm surprised you're taking it so bad. She didn't deserve this. She never did anything to me. But I still did it without hesitation. Don't go down this path of self-recrimination. It's done. We cannot go back and change it. Let's see. Oh, so I can not... Don't suggest Bella to try to redeem herself or you'll most likely meet her again. If it really bothers you this much, keep an eye out for an opportunity to help her and redeem yourself. I'm going to say that. Because that's what she should do. She already said the lady didn't deserve it, right? Um, and that's what I would do. I, I I couldn't stand leaving something open if I know I could fix it. So I'm going to go that route. I guess. Let's get away from here and we can check what we got. Man, I'm still starving. Want to get some burgers? Yeah. All right, this is more like it. It's so much better. Oh, yeah. Do you have my cheeseburger? Oh, yeah, it's in here. Nothing tops a good burger. Burger Queen. Okay, all right. I'm digging it. Here, taste this fry. Oh, isn't that cute? She observes you carefully as you eat the fry. Cheesy. Yeah, I love these cheese fries. So damn unhealthy, but worth the incoming heart attack. I really like this summer night feeling. The temperature drops in the evening, but you still get a nice warm breeze. I know what you mean. When I was still seeking solitude, sometimes I left the house at night. I just walked through the nearby woods or, or sit near the lake. Our lives are so busy with all this college shit and all the things that come with it. Sometimes I just drive aimlessly for hours. I just drive across the highway at night. The strong contrast of the street lights and the cars paired with the night sky. Eventually the cars become fewer and fewer and the shiny small lights fade away. It reminds me of my family's holiday drives when I was younger. I remember sitting in the back watching my father drive through the night. And then I just stop at some point and watch the sunrise. You both sit there in silence for a moment. I haven't done that in a while. It sounds nice. Plain fry? Why not? That's yours. Yeah. How can you drink that? I, I wonder if she's drinking. Been drinking it since I can remember. What is she drinking? I want to know. What's the, what's the drink? What's the drink? All right. Have I told you guys I love how they animate this stuff in this game? When I was younger, my sister and I used to put fries in whatever sauce we could find. We created little bets on who could go further. Who won? I ate a fry with shaving cream. <laughs> okay, all right. Funny what you would consider a sauce. <laughs> but she topped me by putting a fry into my lotion and then into the dog's drinking bowl and lastly covered it with a little bit of spider web. Bella lightens up as she speaks of her little sister. She puked, but she left the bathroom with her head held high. Bella chuckles, but there's some sadness in her laugh. I wonder if that's a little girl in the pictures in her room. I'm sure it is. We never, we never did something like this. We more or less played hide and seek, etc. all day. We did this too, but indoors. Have you been living in that house your entire life? 
Yeah. Are you planning on moving out in the near future? No. I don't want to leave yet. Ayua and some others asked me about sharing a house, but no thanks. I don't like living with many people under one roof. At home, it's just me and my mama. I've been thinking about moving out. Well, well, you live in a trash can. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, unnecessary comment. 90% of what you say is unnecessary. <laughs> But I might be moving in with Nami, Mila, and someone else at some point. In those four in those four room houses? Yeah. They suck. So yeah, it's still an upgrade for you. I despise you, you know that? Sure. We should finish up and check what we got. Yes, but not here. Let's do it somewhere more private. Give me the garbage. I saw a trash bin over there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to wrap things up. As I said in the beginning, I appreciate you coming by. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And please remember, be safe, be respectful, and make sure it's consensual. See you later. Bye-bye.